Hey guys, Sammy here from Valley of the Vultures. Today I thought I would just take you through a brief kind of run through of my practice routine. Normally when I sit down to practice I will run through this little routine before I start getting into the nitty gritty stuff like working on technique or any songs that I'm working on. So I thought I would just run that through with you today. I do a couple of these with students that I teach as well. So the first one I do before I start is just a simple one, two, three, four warm up. I'll do that on all the strings, just going up one, two, three, four on each fret. Pretty nice and simple, just kind of gets my hand warmed up. After that, I will get into a thing called spider fingers, which is a technique that my teacher taught me in high school and it's just stuck around ever since. Pretty much it's just going up by four each time. You play four and then you slide up with your whole hand and then you go back one, two, three, four, then you slide up and just continue that pattern on until you get to the 12th fret and then you do the same thing going backwards. The next thing I do is run through a couple of scales. Normally I start on A major. I'll normally finish every scale off with a little arpeggio, so if I was in A major. If I was doing A minor, I would do an A minor arpeggio. Normally if I was starting on A and doing those arpeggios, I'd start on A, go to D, G, C, F, that kind of thing, just around the circle of fifths. The next thing I would do with this scale is I like to do, um, I don't quite know the technical term for it, but it's pretty much going through the scale, then jumping up a tone and then going back to the tone you missed. Currently with that one I've been trying to work on keeping the same picking technique the whole time and eventually you'll go from da 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 to kind of this da 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 because of the way the scale works and going back through it again you're kind of just doing it back to back. The next one I do is pretty lengthy. I got it from this jazz book. I'm not even halfway through this but it's pretty hefty. It's a simple seventh progression arpeggio type of thing. And what they get you to do is start up going up through the neck and then they get you to go back and then they get you to do it through the circle of fifths. Starting on F, and you can kind of work out your positions by doing your little octave position as well. So F, G, A, B, C, D, E, then back down, D, C, B, A, G, F. Now, through the circle of fifths, we've set on F to a B flat, E flat, A flat. D flat, G flat, B, E, A, D, G, C, and back to F. Takes a lot out to say them as well as play them, <laughs> but you get the idea, that's the kind of pattern probably do it a little bit slower than that as well because doing it for a video is a bit different than just practicing it in your own time. The next couple of things I'd like to do is just kind of go through a couple of riffs that I play quite a lot. The first one is Long Distance Runaround by a band called Yes. Uh, the next one I do is one called I Appear Missing by Queens of the Stone Age. So 
that one also just kind of helps with intervals. Starts in the minor interval, goes to a major, a couple of weird ones up there as well. I really like playing it and when I can't think of something, it's good to just kind of fill in that void of, oh no, what do I play? <laughs> And finally, that brings us on to the last thing, which is just working on songs that I'm currently working on. At the moment, I am practicing for album two, which I'm looking to record sometime this year. Album two is very fast paced, very, very punk rock, in your face. So a lot of it is very hard, fast, loud, very fast picking. So that's my normal practice schedule when I sit down and practice. I used to get up before work and I would do three hours of guitar before I headed to work. So I'd get up, have like a shower for 10 minutes, do an hour of guitar, watch a movie or something while I play, um, 10 minutes for breakfast, another hour of guitar, another little 10 minute break to do whatever I need to do next, and then another hour of guitar and then I'd head straight off to work at 10 o'clock in the morning. So yeah, that was a pretty good routine to get into and then lockdown and COVID hit and I, you know, my thumb had an RSI for a while so that kind of ceased. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. Hopefully you've picked up some tips and tricks to use for your own guitar practice. Thanks for tuning in and I shall see you next week. Bye guys. <laughs>